In this video we are going to talk about biography of famous mathematician Euclid. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Euclid was a brilliant mathematician from Greece. Although little is known about his early and personal life, he became recognized as the father of geometry for his contributions to mathematics. Euclid is believed to have taught mathematics in ancient Egypt during the reign of Ptolemy I from its release until the late 19th or early 20th century, he wrote Elements, one of the most influential mathematical works of all time, which functioned as the principal textbook for teaching mathematics. For over 2000 years, Elements have piqued the interest of Western scientists and mathematicians all around the world. Euclid developed his theorems, definitions, and axioms using a synthetic technique. Apart from becoming a tutor at the Alexandria Library, Euclid created and organized the various aspects of mathematics, such as verisms, geometric systems, infinite values, factorizations, and the congruence of shapes, which shaped Euclidean geometry. Pythagoras, Aristotle, Eudixus, and Thales, to name a few, all inspired his work. Childhood and Early Life Euclid's origins are unknown, however, he is thought to have been born in Tyre in the year 330 BC according to the narratives of several Arabic authors. He hailed from a wealthy family. His father's name was Nocrates, and his grandfather's name was Xenarchus. He was claimed to be a Greek who was born in Tyre and spent his entire life in Damascus. However, there is no conclusive proof that he was the same person as Euclid of Alexandria, who is frequently mistaken with Euclid of Megara, another philosopher who lived around Plato's time. Due to the scarcity of biographical information for this time period, many researchers argue that Euclid may not have been at all, and that his writings were instead created by a group of mathematicians under the name Euclid. Scholars, however, have once again dismissed this notion, citing a lack of substantial evidence. He is also supposed to have attended Plato's ancient school in Athens, which was solely open to the wealthy. He received his mathematical education from Plato's students. Career from the time of its publication until the late 19th or early 20th century, Euclid's Elements is considered one of the most significant works in the history of mathematics. During this time, it was used as the primary textbook for teaching mathematics. From a modest set of axioms, he deduced the principles of Euclidean geometry in his Elements. Euclid authored works on perspective, conic sections, spherical geometry, number theory, and rigor, among other subjects. There are at least five works of Euclid that have survived to this day, in addition to his most famous work, Elements. They appear to adhere to the same logical framework as Elements. They are data, on-figure divisions, catoptrics, phenomena, and optics. There are a few other works attributed to Euclid that have been lost, in addition to the ones mentioned above. Conics, Sudaria, Barisms, Surface Loci, and On the Heavy and the Light are among these works. Euclid's Elements this renowned Greek mathematician wrote Elements at Alexandria, Ptolemaic Egypt, in 300 BC. Elements of Euclid is a collection of definitions, postulates, theorems, and constructions, with mathematical proofs. The 13 books address Euclidean geometry and Greek number theory. It also covers geometric algebra, which aids in many algebraic tasks, such as finding a number's square root. The Elements, after Italicus on the Moving Sphere, is the second oldest Greek mathematical book and has aided in the development of logic and contemporary science. Elements was one of the first mathematical works printed after the printing press was invented in 1482 in Venice. It is considered the most successful and important textbook ever produced, with more editions than the Holy Bible. Since the invention of printing, over 1,000 editions of Elements have been produced. Other Works Euclid's most renowned work, Elements, continues to influence mathematics today, but he also published other publications. At least five Euclid works have survived. This book has 94 propositions and is on given information in geometric problems. Figure Divisions, another famous Euclid book, but only partially translated into Arabic. Heron of Alexandria's, 3rd century, work. Catoptrics is a major contribution to the mathematical theory of mirrors. But J.J. O'Connor and D.F. Robertson think Theon of Alexandria wrote it. It illuminates spherical astronomy. It resembles On the Moving Sphere by Autolycus of Pitany, 310 BC. This book is the earliest known Greek treatise on perspective theory. Aside from the five known works, further works claimed to Euclid have been lost. Conics, Barisms, Pseudaria and Surface Loci Various Arabic texts also credit Euclid with several works on mechanics. Personal Life and Legacy 
Euclid's personal life is shrouded in mystery due to a lack of evidence and archives, although historians estimate he died around 260 BC Campanus eventually translated his most renowned book, The Element, from Arabic to Latin. The first printed edition of the same was published in Venice in 1482. John Dee translated the element into English in 1570. Dee's lectures rekindled interest in mathematics in the United Kingdom. In 1733, an Italian mathematician named Girolamo Saccheri strove for years to outdo Euclid's work, but his efforts were useless because he couldn't identify a single mistake in Euclid's theories. After a while, he gave up and released Euclid cleared of all flaws. Euclid left a massive legacy in his wake. He influenced people like as Abraham Lincoln, who carried Euclid cleared of all flaws. With him everywhere he went and quoted the genius in his talks. Euclid influenced famous philosophers and mathematicians like Newton and Descartes, who used Elucid's format and organization to present their philosophical writings. They, like Elucid, progressed from simple ideas to more complex notions. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.